just left of the flag. Oh, it's coming back onto it. <laughs> welcome guys, welcome to this week's episode. Um, so we've got another review and um, this week I've been sent a laser by these guys. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid to do it whatsoever, but they sent me this uh, Pro GS24 and it's from GoGo -Go Sport. Actually, it's GoGo -Go, Go Sport, three goes. As if one go wasn't enough, we've got three of them. It's a laser finder. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pitch it up against the trusty Bushnell uh, Tor V4. Okay, so um, same kind of box. This one's a little bit worn, as you can see. And this one, so that, you know, you can see where they're going with this. But the difference is that um, this one is just under £100, $100, okay? And this one was $360, £360. So we're gonna put one against the other. So the case is, we're just gonna go as red, that they're pretty much a, a, an identical copy, same color, um, same little band that goes over the top, you know, like so, and same with this one, like so, that's all good. Little clip on the back. Uh, we've got a kind of little belt strap type style thing there, um, but that's good. You know, that's perfect. Just looks the same. Sat on the side of your bag. It might be a bush knot. So there's the two ones. Um, I would say in construction, this one's a little bit more sort of smaller, nifty to hold in the hand maybe. Uh, but this one feels nice. It's kind of got a nice rubbery feel to it. Uh, but we always got to bear in mind that this one is a third of the price of this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get down there and try and compare them. We do it for speed and we do it for, for accuracy. They both have allowances for slopes, so we're going to take an uphill par four and then we're going to take a downhill par three and we'll do a couple of tests, see how we get on. Um, but so far, I mean, there's not much between them. You know, they both got the uh, mode button on the top there so you can have yards. Uh, they both focus from the, uh, from the eyepiece here. This one's got a turn in ring here and this one's just got the uh, slide across the top there. Um, and uh, you know, pretty much uh, everything else is pretty much the same. So let's get on with it and see how we get on. We'll do a little challenge with Matt and go from there. Now this hole, we've got a big incline going up and then the seventh, the next one is a big incline going down. So we're gonna test the, uh, the sort of incline comparisons between the two of these. First of all, we'll get the, uh, we'll see how close we are, see how accurate we are. So you ready there, Matt? So yep. I, I'm gonna go for, we got the pin at the top, the pin at the back. What are we gonna guess roughly it's gonna be? Oh, I'm guessing about maybe 100 yards or something. 100 it? yards or so, yeah. All right, you ready? You know, you know what you're doing. Yep. You ready? Yeah. Go. Got mine. 99. Playing 106. Okay, I've got 94.9. Playing 108. Should we do one more? Not bad, is it? Yeah, it's not bad. Let's go one Wait, more. Should we go quick, quick draw? Yeah. You ready? Go. Yep. Yep. Okay, good. Mine's 96, playing 112. I've got 97, playing 104. So they do change. Okay, should we go one more for that? Oh no, one more. There we go. Let's go. Yep, I've got 97, playing 112. Oh, 101, playing 109. Well, so a bit of a change. Yeah. So look, even the Bushnell is changing from the same spot, same place, same flag. Okay, so let's hit the shots and get up there. Shot, it's all over, it's landing on the flag. Oh, hello. Whoa, hell of a shot. Is that it as well? Right, okay, so this is what we, we were left with. That was bang on. Where's your pitch mic, Matt? Mine's, I think there's one here. Oh, it's gonna be mine pitching close, can't be yours. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I don't know what to say. I mean, would that have made any difference, the 0.3 or 0.4? Probably no, not. Not to me. No, so, um, so they were both pretty accurate. And um, up the slope as well, I think that was kind of worked itself out. You know, I don't know what the best thing is out of these kind of things, but as long as it's accurate within 
I'm going to go, what, three or three to five uh, yards? Yeah, I think yeah maybe f yeah. five yards, you know, if you're an elite player. Maybe ten yards if you're a higher handicapper, you know, but I, I definitely think five to ten yards is absolutely fine. Um, so that did us pretty good. Let's see if we can knock one of these in. See if we can make birdie, yeah? Oh, the fast, man. The fast. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Stay on it. Stay on it. <laughs> How fast was that? All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to learn from that, aren't I? <laughs> Try to, anyway. Break, break, break. Come on, Matt, knock that one in. I think there was an unfair advantage there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for getting slightly closer, Matt, you see? Knock it in. Nearly. That's oh. alright, well, come on, next door, next door, you'll get there. Right, so we're on to the seventh now. Now we've got a big downhill slope, so we'll see which one does the best. At the go, go, go. And the V, what is it? V4 Bushnell. Yeah, V4 Bushnell. Okay, let's go then, Matt. So 149 yards, it's saying on the box there. So it should be quite close to that. You ready? Yeah. Go. Go. Got it. Yeah. 139.7, and the slope is 134.7. Got 142, playing 131. Okay, so three yards difference. Is that right? Yeah. We we'll do one more. Ready? Set, go. Yep. Got it. Ooh, I was behind there. 144 playing 133. Ooh, I was 139.2 and 131.7. Last one? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Go. Yeah. Yeah. I've got 139.5, 132.0. 147 playing 137. I, I actually don't think. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, well, let's, let's hit the shots. Mm. Little nine iron. Come on in, should we try and get a tracer on this, Willa? Just left with the flag. Oh, it's coming back onto it. Oh, she's close, Matt. Man, never like. Shot. That's all over it. Go on, get close. It's a little bit right. Yep, it's in good shape. So the thing with this green is we've got a big roll off to one side. So luckily I got just to the left of it, so it stopped pretty quick. And Matt just got to the right of it. As soon, as soon as it starts rolling, it's gone. Go on, Matt. Knock it in. Knock it in. Right, so that was pretty cool. That's a couple. That was an extreme uphill and extreme downhill. Uh, we're going to do the rest of this round. We'll do a few more, do a little bit more of a comparison, and then we'll get back to you at the end of this round and kind of see what our thoughts are on it. Maybe you want to buy one. Maybe you want the Bushnell one for three times the price. You know, it's up to you. So uh, we'll have a look. We'll get back to you at the end of this round. Yeah? Yep. Let's go for it. Pretty much finished our round. We're on the 17th now. We had a good bit of fun out there, and we did a fair bit of testing, didn't we? Yeah, a fair bit. It's not, it's not that much in it. I've got to tell you, it's not that much in it. If you like new shiny buttons and you've been playing a while, yeah, fair enough. I think the Bushnell and the higher end laser finders are, you know, they're they're a great bit of kit. They do last. Um, I can't tell you how long this one will last because obviously. I've only had it a couple of weeks, but so far it's been really pretty good. You've had something similar before in the past, I, haven't you? I had, yeah. I've got, obviously got the Bushnell now, but I've had something uh, similar to the Go 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 Gadget Go <laughs> yeah. um, when I first started out, uh, and it was very good. It was a little inconsistent at times, but to be fair, the Bushnell's a little bit like that as well. Yeah, um, I think as long as they are consistent, you know, as long as if you're five yards, if it's reading five yards too long, as long as it's five yards too long every time. 
then you can gauge from it, can you? Mm, you just you just don't want a massive inconsistency, um, which this one doesn't seem to have. It's got a nice kind of vibrator on it as well, which is great. When, when you lock on the signal there, when you lock on the pin, it gives you a nice kind of reassuring vibration, which is great, I think. Um, it's got all the features that you would need. It's a hundred quid, a hundred dollars. Um, so I think, you know, gets my thumbs up. If you want to just get underway, hundred quid, hundred dollars is not a lot of money. And um, I would say, you know, I, I just give it a go, see how you find it. I'll put a link down below to it. Um, you're going to get a little bit of discount from it and the channel is going to get a little bit of a uh, kickback as well. I think the channel will get five dollars and you guys get five or ten dollars off. So if you want one, go to the link down below. Uh, but until next time, thanks Matt. Uh, we'll see you guys um, next week.